The Business Report. Brought to you by Sky Mall Food Court. Tonight, we're looking at business between Barbados and Guyana. The two countries have long enjoyed very good relations over several decades, but now they're looking to take it to another level through investment and other business-related opportunities. Minister in the Ministry of Foreign Trade, Sandra Husband, says they are concentrating on many sectors, including tourism and health. Through the latter, she says they are trying to find out how Barbadian medical professionals can provide services, especially specialists. We're looking to see, do they have one oncologist per 10,000 citizens? If that is the case and Barbados has five per 1,000, then our oncologists can go down there and do procedures, you know, like how they flout and go and do procedures and come back. So there are things like that that can be available to us. Ms. Husbands was speaking during a trade workshop hosted by her ministry, which analyzed the possibilities available with Guyana. It was held under the theme Exploring Potential Investment and Trading Opportunities in Guyana at a Cave Hill School of Business. She says in order to be competitive, Barbados must look at expanding production capacity, and this may best be done through cooperatives. Cooperatives would not suit every single situation. But the point I'm making is, is that for your unit cost to come down, for example, one of my interests is in helping the people who make soaps and who make um, health products and whatnot, who want to be able to get into the hotel sector. It is difficult because their unit costs are too high. They can get it so much cheaper from outside. But if six or seven producers came together and created one label, and we were able to market to all the hotels in the region, then the unit cost would come down and those products now would be consumed in the tourism sector. And as Barbados looks to reduce its food import bill, there are several opportunities for the island to tap into Ghana's agriculture industry. Consul General to the Ghana Consulate in Barbados, Sita Pilgrim, says besides produce, the country has a very good seafood sector. Well, we do have a wide variety of... Um sea and freshwater varieties in abundance. I'm sorry to say we don't have any flying fish. Um, but we do have a history of farming, the poultry farming, we do have a history of farming tilapia in Guyana. And we've got these really huge farms, but all the tilapia I see in Barbados is from China or Vietnam. And this is an area I would like to suggest that joint ventures and partnerships can, um, can make the region self-sufficient. At least we can start with tilapia. Time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across our region. In Jamaica, Wigton Windform Limited Ordinary Shares was the volume leader with 14,495,401 units. In Trinidad and Tobago, JMMB Group Limited was the volume leader with 289,305 shares changing hands, all for a value of $650,841.25. Here in Barbados, First Caribbean International Bank was the volume leader, trading 25,000 shares at $2.86 each.